What kind of moron does it take to even try CPU mining on a Chromebook? Oh, wait a second. This moron right here. So yes, as you can see, at least in this instance, yes, you can mine CPU on a Chromebook. Now, mind you, this is one of the more expensive Chromebooks. This is a Samsung Galaxy Chromebook that has a 10th Gen i5 U series CPU, which means it can go up to 25 watts TDP on this package. And like all Chromebooks, it is passively cooled. So you have to keep that in mind when you want to do CPU mining. Now, for all of the things that I'm doing for CPU mining, whether it be the Chromebook or my cell phones, I have another one sitting on over here as well, right there, <laughs> uh, plus the gaming rig sitting right there and the mining rig that's off to the side, I am mining Scala or XLA coin. It's basically a fork of Monero coin uh, using the Panthera algorithm. It isn't worth much right now at all. Actually, it's not even worth one penny yet. But it's getting a lot of traction online, and it looks like it might be the next big thing when it comes to CPU mining over the course of the next year. Also, I am not a financial advisor, so this is just what I have found. Do your own research. But basically, in the last week between... All these units going, I've got over 14,000 coins with them really quickly and easily. So if they do go up in value, it'll be great. Now, as for mining on a Chromebook, you cannot do GPU mining. I don't know of any Chromebook that has a dedicated graphics card built into it. These are meant to be general everyday use laptops that are low powered and just do web browsing type of deal. So to get... Scala or XLA coin CPU mining working on a Chromebook. It's basically like Linux. Now my gaming computer that's off to the side here, yeah, right there, 95% um, of the time it's running Linux and I'm just sitting here doing nothing. It only goes into Windows when I actually go to do gaming. So all I did was copy over the folder that has the um, Scala command line miner over into my Chromebook and put it under the Linux apps folder. Once I was, did that, all you have to do is open up a Linux terminal in your Chromebook and access it just like you did on the regular computer. This is not a tutorial, it's just a quick overview of what needs to be done. Now with everything mining, and it's doing fairly good, um, as we can see here, we only have a speed of 898.4 hashes a second with this, which is roughly double of what I'm getting on my Samsung S8. That's getting about 420.9 hashes a second. I have an older S7 sitting down here that's getting 262.6. Uh, the gaming computer is actually the best out of the whole lot. That's got an i7 7700K that's overclocked to like, I think it's 4.7 or 4.9, all core. I forget which one it was. Uh, it's been so long since I played with that. Either which way, that's usually getting around 3.4 or 3.5 kilohashes a second. And then the mining rig has an i3-7100 in it. And that's usually getting about one and a half kilohashes for 1,500 hashes a second. So the reason why this is running a little slow, because I've seen it go faster, actually almost up to 1,600 hashes a second is because number one, these are passively cooled and it's sitting on a flat surface. The only vents that are on this are on the bottom. And it's not much venting to say the least. And it's fairly warm underneath there. Get out. So if we look at, this program is called uh, COG, COG. I think you can find that in the um, Play Store. It will show you your CPU usage and your temperatures, plus some other stuff too, memory usage and other stuff like that. But what we're really interested in is the temperatures. And we can see the average temperature right now is 124 degrees 
124, 126 on any of the cores. Now this is a four core, eight thread CPU that's actually in this. The thing is, this CPU has many different TDPs. It, I think you can go all the way down to 10 watts TDP, 15, or 15 watts TDP, or if it's running nice and cool, it will kick itself up to 25 watts TDP. Now, what I have here, let's see if I can focus on this correctly. There we go. You can see right now through the USB-C plugged in, it's only pulling in the red numbers 16.8 watts. So you figure about two watts for the screen and the CPU is only pulling maybe 15 watts. So right now, this Chromebook is sitting at the 15 watt TDP because it's thermal throttling. These thermal throttle really low so they don't damage the battery and heat up and they're really not made for this type of workload, but you can coerce it. And the way we're gonna do that is, is with this monstrosity of a CPU pad slash cooler with fans built into it. So let me get it out of the box and we'll take a look at this. And this is the MuJ C52 cooling pad. It basically has six fans into it, three bigger ones, three smaller fans built into it, um, two USB, one for power, one for a pass through. That's on the back of it. It has this little, ah, come on, come out of there. It snaps in there pretty good. Um, little bracket that you can angle it up with, which we will here in a second. And it does have a little bit of RGB, we'll see here in a second, and two holders to keep the um, laptop, or in this case, Chromebook, from sliding right off of it. So let me start getting this set up. And it does come with this little USB-A to USB-A cable. Make sure you don't use it for anything else because you could screw up components. This is literally just so you can normally plug into a laptop USB port and get power for this unit. Well, since this only has USB-C, we're going to have to uh, improvise a little bit. So what we're going to end up using is a USB OTG cable. This is just another voltage monitor that I have plugged into it. So this way we can see what it's doing. So let's plug it in because this has two USB ports, one here and that's feeding power in. And we're currently monitoring over here. And this one, let's plug this in. Welcome wake up screen. And we have five volts out, no amps of course, because nothing's plugged into it right now. And let me just zero everything out. Okay. Here's the USB that's plugged into the back of it right here. And let's see if it'll power it. Hey, we got RGB everywhere on the sides. We are down to 4.92 volts at 0.91 amps. There we go. So yeah, that port is now sitting at 4.96 volts. Not that not much voltage sag at all at uh, just shy of an amp. So we're pulling about four and a half to five watts with the RGB and the fans are on and running. So now that that's running, let's see if we can get the temperatures down here and we can already see if we can get up here to the screen and let me get a little closer here. If you look right here, our speed was only like 900 hashes a second, 917, but now that we're starting to cool it, we must have kicked up because now we're at 1624 hashes a second. And if we look on here, combined, we come on, focus. 31 watts now, it's 32 watts. So if I unplug this real quick, the um, cooling pad, see how the wattage drops, but now we are at 26 watts, 27 watts. The TDP on this chip is now set correctly. Let me plug this back in. And you can see here, now that's plugged back in, we are at 31 watts. Focus. Thank you. So between the TDP on the CPU being jacked up, so that gives us more hashing power, will you please? Thank you. Between the hashing power of the CPU and apparently the extra five watts that's being pulled from the cooling pad, that makes up our 31 watts of power that we're using on this whole unit. So there you go. For an unconventional way of doing CPU mining, yes, if you keep everything nice and cool, you can use your Chromebook 
to CPU mine cryptocurrency. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this till the end. Uh, questions and comments down below, please. Also down below in the video description, I will put any links I have relevant to this, plus a few links to a couple discords that will help you with mining as well. Plus uh, Scala, XLA also has their own discord. So I will also try to put their link down below so you can do your own research and see if this might work for you as well. Until next time, see you next video.